Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don. And tonight, tonight, well, we're going to go to a, like an all you can eat virtual reality buffet. That's that's right. That's the best way I can describe this. So, tonight we're going to be taking a look at Viveport Infinity and man, I got to tell you, I I kind of always knew this was there, but I never thought to pay much attention to it. I mean, I was already getting games from Oculus Store, I was already getting games from Steam VR, and I'm like, eh, they don't really have a lot of exclusives over there. So, I got the Cosmos. The first thing you see when you open it is you get a, a, a six-month subscription to Viveport Infinity, and I'm like, well, the Infinity, that got me kind of curious. So, I looked into it, and man, this is like the Netflix of VR. It, it's mind-blowing. You pay HTC a subscription fee, like like a monthly or a yearly, and, and they give you access to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of VR titles. It's insane. So let's get in there and let's take a look at Viveport Infinity. Okay, so here we are in the 2D app. So this is your desktop app for Viveport Infinity. And, you know, it's I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one, guys. It, it is a, just another 2D app. You've got the one for Oculus. If you're an Oculus user, you're very familiar with that. You've got Steam, obviously. So, you know, I will go over a couple of the highlights here, though. Obviously, the all page here. You've got a nice scrolling banner here. Shows you some new games that have come to the platform. Platform. Also, I did notice a couple of offers. Uh, you know, if you have the Oculus Rift uh, and I think the other one, yeah, if you have the Samsung Odyssey. So really cool that, that you know, this is catering to all headsets. Looking at you, Oculus. So, uh, you know, you, if you have Windows Mixed Reality, like I do have a Samsung Odyssey hanging right above me. I know you can't see it on camera, but it's right there. Uh, you know, I have my Pimax right there. I, I have my... Uh, my Rift S up up in the house, I, you know. So it's great that I can have all of those headsets on one interface here. So very cool there. Um, all right, obviously you can scroll down. You got your new releases. It, it's your typical store. You know, you can buy these, or if you have Infinity, you can just play them. So uh, you can break it down between the apps. The games, the videos, uh, I, I thought some of the videos looked pretty cool. Um, not really into 360 videos. I do like Disturb though, so definitely going to check that out. Um, and uh, yeah, the probably going to be pretty high quality. Um, then you've got your library. Uh, now, in the library, this is what I thought was cool. It, it, it literally scanned my computer and it pulled in all of my apps automatically. So it pulled in my Steam library, it pulled in my Oculus library. Uh, as I buy things or through Infinity, uh, it will fill in right here in the Infinity and then, then it'll pull all those in as well. So I like that, the fact that it has all of my libraries in one central location. So, you know, I, like I said, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this 2D app. This is not what we came here to see. Um, I am going to jump into the Viport VR now, though, because I've been really chomping at the bit to get back in there ever since I did my first impressions video the other night. I unfortunately haven't had a lot of time, so I haven't had a lot of time to play with the Cosmos. So, all right, let's get in there and check out the VR Viport. Okay, here we are. We are in Viveport VR. And, you know, I gotta say, I've seen a lot of these interfaces pop up over the years. I mean, you know, we had the original Oculus room with the wrinkly carpet, and then that transmuted into the the, the balcony, which is what this kind of reminds me of. It kind of reminds me of that, that early Oculus balcony scene where the house would have been back there. Um, but, you know, I gotta hand it to HTC. A couple of things that I really like about this, I, I do like the fact that it is animated, so I like the little translucent people walking around and doing little jobs down there and little robots flying around and you know it just just sometimes I catch those things in the in the well what we can call peripheral in the uh, early stages of, of sub 170 degree field of view 
Um, but I catch this stuff out of the corner of my eye, so to speak. And, and, and it just, it helps me to feel more solidly grounded into this world. So, you know, obviously my only critique before we get started in looking in the interface would be, I'd, I'd really like to get down there and walk amongst the translucent folk. But, uh, you can see, I cannot teleport anywhere. I can't even teleport in the, the little circle here. Now that's all right though, because this, this actually matters maps out to my room pretty good um so yeah um no problem just walking around there all right so basically the meat and potatoes of this is obviously the vive port store uh you know this also has your library so you can use this as a launcher as well Viveport store. It's a store. You've seen Steam. You've seen Oculus. You're going to see a lot of the same titles uh, that you're going to see over on Steam in the Viveport. Uh, however, what we're here to talk about today is not necessarily the Viveport store, but it is the thing that I thought was the coolest which is the Viveport Infinity Service. So, you know, like I was saying in the intro, guys, this is the Netflix of VR, so to speak. Now, obviously, you're going to get a lot more out of Netflix than 574 titles, but for the early days of VR, that is an amazing number of titles to have for just 13 bucks a month or 10788 very very specific number there uh, if, if you go the yearly route and you know that that's not all shovelware there is actually some decent stuff in infinity and we're, we're gonna kind of look through the catalog here in just a minute uh, but you know overall where I really find this to be a, a value proposition it is, is like I said earlier, if you are a newcomer to VR, if you are new to virtual reality, you're, you're going to want to do a lot of cool things, you know, when you first get this headset and, you know, you're going to want to fly, you're going to want to drive, you're going to want to shoot stuff, you're going to want to check out horror games, you're going to want to check out 360 videos, you know. So right here, by having the Infinity Service, that's going to give you the ability to just hop from game to game to game. And, and let me tell you, having that freedom is something that feels amazing in, in, in virtual reality, just to do whatever you want, whenever you want. So, you know, you can see here, it is $12.99 a month. If you do it by the month, uh, it is $107.88. If you do it by the year, uh, you do get unlimited access to the 574 titles here. Um, you also get some other perks like 10% off Viport purchases, uh, and exclusive offers to discounts on weekends. Now you're probably saying, Don, why do I need discounts on purchases you said this was all you can eat well it is technically all you can eat it's all you can eat in the infinity portion here which i actually misspoke earlier and said 200 plus titles it's like 574 titles in here now you can see that that you know there are certain titles like groundhog day here you'd still have to pay the 29.99 to get uh, it is not included in the infinity subscription however you will get the uh, 10 percent off if you buy it that way so um i don't know a little misleading yes no maybe you know xbox game pass you obviously don't get everything on xbox game pass you, you get uh you know uh, a select number of titles there so i think it's pretty much the same thing but i can really like I said, see a value in this if you are a new user to VR or if you're just a power user, you just want to jump from stuff to stuff. It, man, check this out. Now, another great thing about this, it, man, they've got a free trial. So I, I think this is like a two week free trial. So especially if you are a new user, if, the, if you just opened your very first Oculus Rift S or, you know, HTC Vive Cosmos or, you know, I'm sure the Samsung Odyssey Plus I know works with this as well uh, you know you, you just do the trial you're going to be able to do all those cool things for that first couple of weeks that, that you're dipping your toes into the VR waters so I, you know other than that guys I really don't know much more that I can say about this you know you've seen one you've seen them all 
Yeah, I can just jump into apps here if I want to. I can jump into games. I can jump into my library, which it does actually pull in some of my other um, stuff on the desktop library. It does seem like on this one, maybe I can, you know, filter that out. Um, it's just showing me the things that I can get through Infinity. Um, and then you got a wish list if you want, obviously. I, I don't need to wish for anything right now. So, uh, but other than that, that's it in a nutshell, guys. It, it is a really cool interface. It's a really cool store. I, I, you know, in summary, I really hope that eventually HTC, like I said, opens it up to where I can, you know, walk around down there and teleport in. Or, you know, better yet, that they incorporate this into Origin, um, you know, their their kind of home interface where I could just do a lot of this right from Origin, take this stuff, pin it to my walls, you know. So, all right, I think uh, for me, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, thank you so much for watching to the end of the video if you made it this far. And uh, if you want to check out Viveport, I am going to throw links for all of this down in the description to make it a little easier for you. Head down to that link. Go grab a copy of this. Check it out. Binge all you can eat on those 574 titles in Infinity. And I'll see you in the next one. This is Don signing off. Peace. still here. It's not a Marvel movie. You know, it's normally not like an after credit scene, but I guess if you're watching me, you found a hidden Easter egg. So congrats. And with Easter eggs come prizes, right? Well, if you're one of the first five people to find this, you just scored yourself a $20 Viveport wallet code. That's right. So you got to do three things for me, though, to get it. Number one, you got to be a subscriber here on the channel. Guys, I, I want to hit 10,000 by the end of the year. So if you haven't already, please smash subscribe. Number two, throw a like on the video. Share it out if you can. That also helps me. And, and lastly, number three, just throw me an email right here at vrgamerdude at gmail.com. And I'm going to hook you up with one of those five $20 five port wallet codes. So, all right, thanks again, congrats, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.